But Hunter, do you want some carrots? Your first carrots? Your homemade carrots? We are Ashley and Josh, a couple that fell in love despite the odds. As you know, life can be so unexpected, but we vlog the good and the bad to document our journey. So come along as we figure things out together. Hola, good day. It is Friday, April 29th, which makes Hunter's four month doctor's appointment. He, he turned four months yesterday. And of course we're sitting out here in the, the Outs elevator. Outside, we were here. <laughs> outside lobby. On top of that, I was pumping and I was gonna go to the bathroom and take the pumps off because they're finished, but We've been sitting here so long that I, I'm scared that if I go to the bathroom, I'm gonna miss them calling us in. So there we sit, like this. Anywho, Hunter's getting shots today. I'm glad Josh was able to get off early so he can, you know, take over during that process. They're gonna, of course, weigh him and see how long he is. I'm guessing that he's around 14.2 pounds. What do you think, Josh? 13, 13.12. 13, really? Mm -hmm. All right, so we'll see who wins that. So, I am, I'm coming, but I just have to show you something. I was, I told you I was pumping. This is one jar and this is the other, bam. Um, I missed a pump today and that's why I'm so full. I tried to take this out and I spilled it all over the floor, all over me. And now I look like I done peed on myself in the doctor's office. Okay. Yeah. It just measured Hunter. He is 24 inches, 24. He was 24 inches long. What, what exactly it was it? It's 24 something. Look how alert he is. Oh my goodness. He doesn't know what's coming. What's coming next to you? Okay, Okay, let me put my milk away before Josh yells at me again. So, <laughs> all right, the doctor just left, and Hunter is fourteen point four 14. pounds, 4, 4, yeah. and then twenty four inches, right? Yeah. So that's two feet basically. Two feet, yep. Yeah. So, I was closer. <gasps> yeah, <laughs> she said that he's progressing fairly well, really well. He has a big old head like his daddy, you know what I'm saying? That's progressing really well too. <laughs> what else? He seems to be healthy. He's a healthy yeah, baby he's boy. Yeah, he's doing good. He's about to get his, 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 his uh, shots, shots. Now. He's getting two shots instead of three this time and then an oral vaccine. So he seems to be really happy right now. Hopefully he'll continue on with that, so. We are finally back home. And I gotta tell you that Hunter did so much better than I did. <laughs> I don't like to see my baby get shots. That's just the way it is. But he did really well. He took the first shot like a champ. The second shot, he did cry a little bit, but it was really, really short lived. And the doctor said that the second shot does kind of sting a little bit. So he did, he did really well, huh? And he's all perky, no fever or anything like that. They said he might get a fever, but he seems to be doing pretty good. Pretty, pretty good, right? He's been talkative all day. We went to Hair Teeter after we left the doctor's office. Josh is gonna make some hamburgers on the grill. Right now he's out front trying to get the chainsaw to work so he can cut down the bushes up front. He's been tinkering with that for about 20 minutes now. So I don't know, I don't know if he's gonna get it, you know, uh, working, but we'll see. 
hopefully he does because I would really like to get the front yard underway <clears throat> soon as he gets the bushes cut down then we can go ahead and um, spray some weed killer down there and then put the top soil and mulch down and I just know like the front yard is gonna look different I cannot wait I cannot wait how's it coming along boo Start, but it, doesn't it doesn't want to stay on. Keep them barking. Because you had it on the ground? No. Oh, babe. That thing's out of spin. So you don't hurt yourself now. <laughs> ah, sorry, I pulled up this too hard. All right, fam, it is now Sunday and I just got finished putting Hunter to sleep. Ah, the joys of sleep training, okay? As soon as 12 o'clock or one o'clock hits, depending on when he got up in the morning time, he's ready for his nap. Every two hours, bam. I do not know what I was thinking not sleep training earlier than I did, okay? Because I'm telling you, like clockwork, he's out for the count for both of his naps and during that time i'm able to get things done that i need to get done around the house or if i'm working that day what have you okay also if you're a new mom and you haven't heard of a sound machine or like i have is the hatch get you the hatch this is the hatch As soon as that thing turns on and Hunter hears the sounds of the rain, he has rain on right now in his room, or wind, he automatically gets tired. Within three minutes, he is out for the count. That just helps with the whole sleep training process. I'm going to do a video a little bit later on down the road on how I sleep trained Hunter because honestly, I don't know what I was thinking not doing it sooner, okay? But now at four months, it really has come in clutch for me and for Josh. Especially for me though, because of course I work from home and I have Hunter throughout the day. So those nap times are truly instrumental in me really um, getting my work done throughout the day. Anywho, I'm, I'm going to attempt to use this nail hole patch stuff on the wall in the laundry room. Me and Josh kind of yanked up the walls when we were taking down the cabinets. So I'm gonna use this nail hole patch stuff right here to fill the holes. And then I'm going to attempt to tape the wall with this, with the painter's tape. And I don't think I'm gonna to get to painting today because Hunter's, he's only asleep for about two hours. But, 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 hopefully I can get all the taping, taping done. This is the most tedious part of it though, taping and we'll be good to go or I'll be good to go to paint in the next couple days. This is, I feel like this has been a slow process, but we're getting it done. I'm still, I'm looking for the right planks, the live edge planks that I wanna put up, 
Josh actually found a vendor on Etsy who cuts the planks to our specifications and it's live edge. So I'm kind of excited about that, but the price is kind of steep and I need two boards. Well, for right now, two boards. I'm considering three shelves, but I don't know if this wall is large enough for that. So again, I need Josh's input. But today I was looking at the wall and I was like, I don't know. I might need three rows of um, shelving. What do you think? Maybe have one shelving, one row right here. And then another row like right there and then another row up there I'm I don't know I'm leaning towards that but I need some input here you know what I'm saying anywho let me get to patching these holes and I'll see you in a bit I did what I could do so far. I taped up the top part of the laundry room over here and maybe when Josh gets home he will move the washer and dryer for me so I can continue to tape all the way down. I'm just gonna have to be really careful when painting towards the ceiling and on the sides and stuff like that to make sure that nothing bleeds through onto the ceiling or the other walls. But I think as soon as we get everything taped up, the painting is not gonna take long at all. Maybe an hour at the most. And we can start installing our shelves, hopefully pretty soon. Yeah. So Gigi and Pop Pop just got here. You excited to see your grandparents? And then Josh came outside. He's about to take up the brick on the first two trees over here. And then put some lining down and hopefully add the stone around the first two trees up there. So I kind of want to show you a before and after, but I'm not sure how many bricks Josh has already taken up before I was able to come outside. So what, what do you mean mugging? He told me to be quiet. So, okay, I gotta be quiet. All right. So this is what we got so far. Josh is working on the second tree over there. It's definitely coming along rather nicely. I like it. I love it. Finish the tree by the street. Finish the tree in the middle of the yard. Now all we have to do is this. What's going on fam? It is now Wednesday, May 4th. Say hello. Hello. Hunter is of course still teething. I think I forgot to tell you guys on Friday when we had his four month checkup, um, they gave us the okay to start him on solids. So we are, well they advise us to try different foods, but in order to do that, to make sure he's not allergic to anything, um, try one food for three to four days and then go to the next food. So we, we started with bananas because he's been teething we put the bananas in the freezer so he's been having like a banana popsicle and he absolutely loves the bananas Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> Want some more? So I'm super excited about that because mama loves bananas too. Today we're going to start with carrots. So I'm excited because I finally get to use my baby food maker that my grandfather actually got for me. Bam, it's the one that I wanted. And I also ordered some baby food books. 
cookbooks. Got this one, of course, off Amazon. Cause like I said, y'all know Amazon get all my money. And I got this one as well. So I've been reading through some recipes and hopefully, hopefully by the time you can eat multiple things in the same day, mama will have the cook, the, the recipes down. What you think? Mm -hmm. So dad just got, well Josh just got home and he's about to pick some dinner for us. And then while he does that, I'm going to um, puree the carrots because that's what we're going to have for his second, his second food. And then I don't, we haven't decided if we want to do peanut butter next or strawberries. Or I can try eggs for him, but I think he's too, I, I think he's too young for eggs. Mm, that's too solidy for me. But I don't know. Either peanut butter, ow. He's been, ow, ow. He's been really pulling my hair recently and it hurts. It hurts. Like my mama say, don't make me pull your hair. So you can see what it feel like. I bet you won't do it again. Huh. Right. Anywho, while um, Josh, well, Josh is about to come downstairs. Oh, I also got this, which I thought was super duper cute. Cause you know, we have been on this kick where we're doing My Baby Can Learn. So I also got some flashcards for him as well. And he seems interested for now. But it's, we just got the flashcards today. So we've gone through the fruits and vegetables many, many times today. He still seems interested, so we'll see. Oh, Hunter, don't pull mommy's hair, baby. That hurts. It hurts. You don't care. It's just something to hold on to. Huh. All right, so Josh is going to come downstairs eventually and make dinner. But while he is upstairs, let me go ahead and get the carrots all out the way and then we can try that tonight what do you say We got the first little jar of baby food that we have made together, huh, Hunter? I'm pretty excited. I ain't gonna lie. I feel like a Betty Crocker type of mom now. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm going to give him a little bit of this. Of course, I need to wait till it cools off. He loves pulling my hair. Oh my goodness. That hurts. Oh, and I'm tender headed too. Boy. Okay. Of course, I'm gonna let it cool off and all of that. Hunter is about to go ham because he's in his little carrier here. We do not have any baby spoons. I completely spaced out on that and um, it's okay because I'm going to order some before I go to sleep tonight. But Hunter, you want some carrots? Your first carrots? Your homemade carrots? What? Look, look at Josh in the background like, uh. What? You want some carrots? Look, let's see. Can can you see Mr. Hunter Man? No. Hunter, you're gonna look back on these videos and be like, mommy, you got me crying. And I'm gonna say, absolutely. Look what I got. Look what I got him. Y'all know? Y'all know about that? Want some more? Oh yeah. You give me a uh, knock your move. Wanna try some more? Okay. Okay. Mmm. Is 
Is it good? The consensus on the carrots, we don't know. No, no, yeah. <laughs> we don't know, babe. We're gonna try again tomorrow. It might taste better too with being cold. You think so? I mean, it's, it's warm. Exactly. Yeah, you're right, because he's teething. Yeah. Well, we'll try again tomorrow. We have three more days of carrots to make sure that he's not allergic. But we'll see. So, but until then, huh? So we'll see you next time. We'll see you next time. Yeah. But this is my first time having kids. Mm-hmm. All right, fam. We'll talk to you later.